All right, everybody, in this video, I want to share with you guys how to create ethnic guitar beats all from scratch in FL Studio. As you guys know, we are not going to waste any more time, so let's just jump straight in. All right, so we are now here in FL Studio 21, as you guys can see. First things first, the guitar we're going to be using is going to be this Nylon Sky guitar in Omnisphere. I highly recommend going for a nylon guitar compared to the other ones, as they give more of that ethnic feel to them. As for the BPM, we're actually going to lower it down to about 90, and the scale we're going to be working in is going to be C minor. Since we are working in the C minor scale, we're just going to start off by putting down a note on the C4. Uh, then we're just going to extend this all the way out to the first bar over here. And let us just make a simple trad chord out of this. So we're just going to skip the first highlight of the note, put one on the D sharp, and then one on the G5 as well. Now to make this a little bit more realistic, we're also going to invert the middle note. So just pitch it up by one octave. And from here, we just want to build off of this chord progression. So strum out the notes a little bit and get more of that natural sound for the whole sample. In this case, we're just going to drag this G5 out a little bit. And also I'm just going to highlight this D sharp, hold Alt on my keyboard and just move it slightly off grade so it doesn't hit at the exact same time as this C5. Then we are just pretty much going to build a very, very simple pattern. You really don't want to overdo it. So we're just going to add a couple of notes, maybe one here and some up here as well. So as you guys can see, we've just made a super simple two bar pattern right here. Just add a few more notes on the first part and pretty much just copy the same thing over with a few changes. Now that we have this, all we have to do is just copy the whole thing over and then you're just going to pitch it down by five semitones. So just highlight everything on the second part and just do one, two, three, four, five down. And you don't even have to worry if some of the notes aren't in key. It's going to sound good no matter what. fire. All right, so the ethnic guitar samples usually have a very realistic sound to them. So unless you are playing the real guitar, I highly recommend adding some nice effects to get that natural sound. So on this guitar VST, I've pretty much just put on my real live guitar effect chain, which just consists of an NS1, which is a noise suppression, a little bit of EQ and reverb right here, just some delay, some stereo shapening and some more EQ pretty much. The next thing we're going to add is just a bass to fill out that low end. In this case, I'm just using the Scarby bass and contacts, a super popular bass, but you can pretty much use whatever bass you want. And we're just laying down a pattern on the root notes. So we're pretty much just following these notes right here. So now we have two pretty important parts to our melody. But the main thing to really get that ethnic type of sound is to add some sort of ethnic flute phrase. So in this case, I'm just going to open up my Mirage Multikit where I have a whole phrases folder. So if I just open up this, we have 30 different phrases. And as you can see, I also have some ethnic flute phrases. So I'll just try to drag in this first one right here. Now this flute phrase is in 90 BPM, but the cool thing about all of these phrases is that they are actually all time stretched. So no matter what phrase you pick, you can just drag them in and it's going to fit to your tempo. Yeah, so now we really have that ethnic sound to our sample. All right, so the last things I want to add to the sample is just going to be a texture we can have in the background. And then I'm also going to try to add some reverse elements just to switch between the flute and the second part. So for the textures, I'm actually going to open up the texture folder in the same kit. Over here, we also have a lot of different textures, but I actually want one that is more in nature sounding and maybe something with birds. So I think we have the full sample right here. And we have those reverse elements for the second part. All right, so now that we have the full sample finished, let's quickly add some drums. As for all the drum sounds I'm using, they are also coming from the Mirage Multi Kit. So if you guys already like the phrases and textures, I also have a full drum kit, 50 different melody midis, and also a portal bank with 50 different portal presets. So it is pretty much six different kits all in one bundle. You can of course check out the kit by going on my website. It is bbmarker.com, or you guys can just click the first link down below. So let's just start getting the bounce going with a couple rims. So now we have a cool bus for the hi-hats as well. Yeah, I feel like we have some good bounce going on right now. But we need to add that kick in the other way to finish this off. I think I'm actually going to add a kick first.
And then since our root notes are so simple, we can literally just copy paste the kick pattern over to the 808. And then we just need to put it down on the root notes like we did for the guitar. And then we just need to put the 808 notes on the root notes from our guitar. All right, so here we have the full beat. Flute, bass, and guitar in the intro, together with the texture. Shut up, Marco. Marco. And it quickly drops in. Here we bring back the reverse elements, and we have all the drums coming. And it drops in with the flute for the second part. That's crazy. Slows down a bit here. Bass and kick. Then the 808 comes back in. Together with the flute as well. Transition into the bridge. Pretty much the same as the intro. Then it drops back in. <laughs> 